Hello everyone, I'm here to share with you the result of my previous two tutorials that I've shared with you guys on um, how I create my chunky charms. Okay, so um, as you can see, the charm is already together. And that is because I quickly saw in the last video that I um, was shooting that um, it was not going to be feasible for me to try and sit through um, making the whole um, chunky charm on on. Um, in one setting. And that's simply because, um, I, for one, I couldn't even see around um, the camera and I was bumbling and it was going to take me even longer than it norm normally takes me. And it usually takes me um, quite a few hours to um, finish the Chunky Charm. This one only took me a little over three hours, um, so that was good. Now, in the first video, I share with you my first step, and um, I create these chunky charms, um, first of all, in two days. The first day, I go in and I create all of my dangles, and I create quite a bit. I do have enough left over to where I will be able to make um, another chunky charm in the same color scheme. But I create enough because not only do I use quite a lot to create um, the massive chunky charm, I also use them uh, on the strings in the center of my um, signatures. I also use them on the lace on the edge of my journals. And sometimes I will use them <clears throat> um, on some of the tags as well if they're not too bulky. So then the second day I go in and I create the Chunky Charm itself. And I use three chains. I use three individual chains to create um, the massive Chunky Charm, okay? On one method, you can have all of your chains equal length, and then you just have your center piece on the center chain. And then you can just, you don't have to worry about pretty much the placement of the charms. You just place them all throughout there. And then you get a really massive chunky charm that way. And this this way I've done the um, like an upside down triangle which by that I mean I have the bulk and my um, larger charms on the top of the charm and you have your triangle. So as you go down, that's your triangle top or the bottom, however you look at it, and it just tapers as you go down. So the larger charms are up top and then I start putting the um, smaller charms or the less bulky charms toward the um, bottom of the charm and it ends in the centerpiece of your charm, which in my case is this lovely cameo. Um, so this chain, um, this spine, this is what I'm going to put to cover my spine. Uh, measures nine and an eighth. Okay. This charm, I believe is eight and a quarter. So you get an idea of how massive that is. Now, when you're creating the charm this way, I didn't tell you guys, you have your one long center chain and then you have two smaller chains, um, that creates this look. Okay. So you just have to measure that out however you want, however long you want your um, charm to be. And then you just create two smaller uh, chains, which will make your two smaller charms um, on there. So um, it takes me about three hours to create my dangles, you know, or more. And then it create, you know, takes me three or more hours to also then go in and do my um, chunky charms. So it, it, there is a lot in that I have to go, you know, put into making the chunky charms, but I do love making them. Um, so if you want to try and attempt that, I would love to see what you guys come up with. If you have any um, questions, you need me to go in and clarify something for you um, or just to go a little more in depth. On some things, I'll try and do it. But like I said, trying to do one um, chunky charm in a whole setting is probably just not going to be feasible at this point. Um, I could try and figure out how to um, speed up a video. Um, I'm not sure how that, that would work. I don't know how to do that yet. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys um, have enjoyed the tutorials. I hope that you have learned at least something. And um, stay tuned for the next uh, video. Um, hope you guys have a lovely day. Oh, I want to share share with you guys. Okay, so I explained that I do put these on a clasp. So this is a chunky charm, okay? This is a chunky charm on the right side. And then you're left with this. See, and that in and of itself 
it's just a stunning, beautiful, chunky charm right there. Okay. And so um, you can see that it this is quite massive. Okay. And they all can come off and be used individually. Thank you all for watching. And like I said, stay tuned for the next video.